Miller family has had the opportunity to develop a relationship with Shalavim over 30 years. It started with my grandfather and my grandmother and my parents have been able to continue that legacy. And I think that mutual love between our family and the Shalavim has also trickled down to myself and my brothers and my sister who have all had the opportunity to learn in Shalavim as well as my father. We are definitely a Shalavim family. I grew up with Shalavim being the first stop that we made every time we landed in Israel. I remember going to the Makola, we would pick up yogurt, then we would go to Rabbi Galinsky's office and sit at the table. At that point, I didn't know that it was Rav Yaakovson, but I remember my father always walking with this tall rabbi, which later on I found out who that was. Whenever we were in Israel, we would be there, we would go to the old base medrash, which was named after my grandfather, Joseph Kimel Rabbi Shalom. And even as a child, I was able to go to some of the Shalom dinners as well. So it kind of was in my blood. And it was a discussion with Rabbi Galinsky to possibly open up a girls' school, and I would bother him once in a while. She used to say every time the Rosh Hashiva was in the house, it's not fair, everybody's working on the boys' school, we want to have something for the girls. Rabbi Galinsky called and said, uh, we're ready. Talia Miller and the Miller family sort of go hand in hand with the first class of Shalvin for Women. And Talia, uh, who I remember meeting as a senior in SKA, took the plunge and was the Nachshon Ben Aminadav of that year. I think by her demonstrating that this was a viable option, so many other people after her um, were willing to take that same risk and be the pioneers at Chalvin for Women. We were the first year of Chalvin for Women. They were very much aware of our desires and our opinions and they were constantly asking us what we liked, what we didn't like, how they can change it. and between semesters there were many changes made and I think that enabled the school to adapt it to what it is today. There are so many of that Shalavim first class girls here tonight. Um, I, I have to thank you, the yeshiva has to thank you. You took a gamble. You trusted us. You believed in the yeshiva. You wanted so much to be a part of that family, of the Rashi yeshiva, of the davening on the Yamim no Raim, of the Tiulim Yom HaTzma'ut, and the high level of learning. You took a chance. I said to your parents, trust us. We know what we're doing. And hundreds of girls later, look where we are. It's such a tremendous sense of pride. I definitely enjoyed the year, and I've made really good friends from that year in Israel. Talia Miller, Talia Ice, she's a student. She sits here and she learns and she puts in the effort, she puts in the time and she gains and she really grows from the knowledge. For her, Torah learning is not just something that's academic, it's something that really makes an impression upon who she is. It wasn't a school that was going to spoon feed everyone, it was a school that was going to encourage everyone to grow on their own way, and their own path. A lot of the focus in the classes was giving us the ability to continue our learning after our year in Israel. So we have been Zoha to work closely with Talia, not only as a student when she was here in year one, but as a dedicated alumnus who has given of her time generously to help get the word about Chalavim for women out. Every year my father travels to Israel for my grandfather's yard site and I've been privileged to go with him numerous times. And we would go to the cemetery and without fail every year a band full of Shalvim guys, often ones that know our family but often times ones that don't would come so that there would be a minion by my grandfather's caber and one of the Rosh Yeshiva would speak or one of the Rebbeim would speak. It meant a lot to my family that the that Shalvim continues to be part of our family as well. We're not just part of their family, but they're part of ours, and they're there for us when we need them, and when we need to go on my grandfather's road site to his caber. I went to another Hazar Yeshiva, not Shalvim, but uh, when we were in Israel, uh, I was welcomed uh, I was welcomed by all of the Shalvim, Rebbeim, as well as Rosh Yeshiva and former Rosh Yeshiva, and uh, I see the connection that the Miller family has with Shalvim, and it's a very special connection. Uh, I see what it has done for, uh, for Talia's father as well as her, um, her siblings and Talia herself. 